Two years ago, I made my first cinematic travel video. And honestly, I love watching them as much as I love making them. The only thing that I didn't like was going through the hours and hours of my content just to find that one clip of me finally catching that wave on my surfboard. This process took in total like eight hours of my time to find all the cinematic clips that I wanted to include in my video. But recently, Opusclip launched a new AI feature that's called Clip Anything. And as the name says, it can clip any type of video. The way it works is the AI can automatically detect certain scenes in your videos, which you can find by typing in a prompt. For example, let's say I'm recording over an hour of footage with my drone going over Bali and I fly over the sea and I spot a manta ray. Now, the thing is, I continue my recording and then I go home and once I'm home, I can't find that part where I spotted that manta ray because I just spotted it for like 20 seconds. Now, instead of doing this manually and trying to spot the manta rays through my laptop, I can simply put this into the AI system of Ops Clip and I can type in, find me the manta ray and what it will do, it will go through my footage and then it finds that clip for me. So by doing this for all of your clips, you can save hours of your time while editing your cinematic videos because you no longer have to find all the clips for this. Now in this video, I will show you how Clip Anything works. I will show you exactly how you can make a custom template which will help you find your clips. And then I will give you some tips and tricks of how you can do it even better with this new AI. So in order to have access to Clip Anything, you need to have access to Opus Pro. Once you have access to Opus Pro, this is the first step that you want to follow. So first up, we go to Brand Template. And here we want to create a custom template for our videos because within my cinematic videos, I don't want to have any captions and I want to have my videos in 16 by nine. So standard, your aspect ratio would probably be nine by 16, but we're gonna change that to 16 by nine. Then if we scroll down, we can toggle off the captions and now we don't have any captions in our videos. And trust me, you need this for this part of the video. So now once you're happy with it, you can click on save as a new template then you can give it a name, horizontal template. And now we can save that. The second step is to upload your video into Ops Clip. Now, for the sake of this video, I'll be using this video as an example, and we can just copy this link. So I'm just gonna copy it right here. Then we can drop it into Ops Clip. And now we give it a second, and then we can select what we want to do. So for this video, we need to select clip anything. So usually your model will be in clip basic, but you need to select clip anything. Keep in mind, this is still in beta, so it still makes some mistakes. And also right now, it doesn't cost you any credits because they're still testing this out. Now you select clip anything, then you can change the clip length to auto, or if you want to have more specific results, which I will recommend later. I will show you exact examples why you would want to use a shorter amount of length. Then you can keep it either on 30 seconds, 30 to 59 or 60 to 98. And this all depends on how long the clip is that you're looking for. Then we drop down to the show more section and here you select what your genre is. So for us, we are in the travel niche. So we're gonna select travel. Now with that, you can also click on this icon right here and then you can select if you want to have a specific moment or a specific highlight. So for example, we are most likely gonna use a single moment highlight. We don't do anything like a message to our target audience and we also don't do an insightful tip. So I can just toggle these off and now I can save this and now we move over to the next step, which is our processing time. Only use this if you already know like, oh, this clip is gonna be at the end of our video. If you don't know where it is, just leave it like this and the AI will find it for you. Now, the last step that we add is our prompt. Now with this, there are a few things that you can do. So if we click on learn more, then you can see all the tips that they have written out for our prompting guide. So your prompt really depends on what you want to do or what you want it to find. For example, I mostly use find me a specific moment because that's exactly what we're looking for. We can also do find an action, an emotion, a character, create a compilation video. It also gives us some things we shouldn't do. Then next up, you have some clear wording that they want you to use. So subject, so let's say, for example, I have a girl dancing that is pretty specific. It's a pretty specific subject. It's also an action, what she's doing. This way, the AI can make sense of what you're looking for. I already know that in this video that we have right here, there's a girl somewhere in a green dress dancing. So I want to look for that specific clip. 
So what I'm going to type in is find me the girl in the green dress dancing. And now we need to select our template. And here you can see if you choose the quick preset, then you will get your video in 9 by 16. And we don't want that. So we want to have our own template. And here I have like the horizontal template. So we can just select this. Then you click on get clips in one click. And now the AI will find this for you. Keep in mind, in the beginning, this might take some time, but if you do this for all of your clips that you're looking for, then you will just have to wait, like let's say half an hour, and then all of your clips will be done. Our video is now done, and here we have the results. So we can see our prompt, then we can see dancing in a green dress on the beach, and then here we can see our video. So Oops Clip has just found exactly what we were looking for. It has done so and it also explains what it has found. A girl joyfully dancing in a green dress on the beach. Now here we have another clip that is a little bit longer. But keep in mind since this clip is so short, it also captured some other things. So let's have a look at it. So here we have the girl. Then if we move over, the video continues and we have other parts as well. That we don't really want so instead of doing that you want to keep it short like this clip above instead of doing the long clip right there if you have a clip that is pretty long or you want to have a compilation of let's say the most beautiful shots of bali then the ai can just find that you put it on auto or a length even longer and then it will give you like a three minute clip or a five minute clip and you can use that for your videos let me show you another example of some prompts that i've put into ops clip so here I ask it to find the manta ray, like I said in the intro. And if we take a look at our first clip right here, then we can see that it didn't do quite a good job. As you can see, it didn't quite find the manta ray. But that's also because the manta rays are very specific. Then in our second clip, we can see that it has found the manta rays right here. And keep in mind, these manta rays were only like four seconds into the video. Literally, that was all there is. And it's found it in our one hour long video. Now here's the reason why you want to be a bit more specific when you're looking for just one clip, specifically on the length. So here I had the prompt, find all the animals and compile it into one clip. This again was an hour long video of Bali. And here we can see that it didn't quite find our monkeys in the intro. It did find a temple, these rice fields. And then if we move on further to our video, then we can see the monkeys start right here. We have some more clips of the monkeys right there and then it continues. But for the first 30 seconds, we don't have any monkeys. And that is also because that the clip is like 30 seconds long. Now, if we scroll down to our second and our third clip, then here we can already see the playful life of monkeys in the Ubud forest. So here, if I click on it, then we can see our monkey right there. Then this entire clip just has like monkeys doing some stuff, whatever monkeys do. So here's my advice if you're looking for a single clip that's pretty short. Make sure to put the clip length in like less than 30 seconds. This will guarantee you that you will find that short. If you put it in auto or longer, then it will certainly find it, but it still will be within that three minute clip. The last step is after you found your clip and you want to edit it further, you can do so in your favorite edit program or you can edit the clip right here. And here you can select, for example, if you want to add in another section. So if you want to make the clip any longer, you can do so right here. So you can see how the AI kind of like identifies the scenes on your video. Now, if you want to add a part, then you can click on add. And now this part will load into your video and you've added it in there. Once you're happy with the video that you've made, you click on save changes. And now this will take a little bit of time to re-render. But if you want to use this clip, then you can just click on download in HD or you can export it as an XML file, which you can use in your favorite editing program. So all in all, if you import all of your footage within Opus Clip, you prompt it to find exactly what you're looking for, then it will save you hours of your time finding the exact clips, which you can use to edit your cinematic video. And keep in mind, this is all in beta. So you can try it out right now. You can play around with it. You can do it for free as of right now. And if you have any feedback on your videos, then leave it within Ops Clip. You can do so right here by liking it or disliking it. If you dislike it, you can say the reason why it is not good. And this way we can optimize it and make it even better for you. I will leave the link to Ops Clip. Make sure to subscribe to Ops Clip to find more useful tips for your videos. And as always, I will see you in the next one.